guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video on the channel. Just giving a warning, this might be a really long video because I'm gonna be sharing a lot of products. As you can tell by the title, I'm really excited to do this video. I'm gonna be sharing my hygiene routine, all of my favorite products that I use to keep myself clean and just hygienic and smelling good. I'm going to be hitting every single category in like self wellness, self care and hygiene. I'm going to be talking about my body care routine, my shower routine, hair care, dental care, foot care, everything. One category I'm not really going to touch on is skincare because I feel like that's a little bit different. That's just like how I keep my face like moisturized and stuff. I will mention the products that I use to keep my face clean, but the whole like purpose of this video is what I use to keep myself clean and hygienic. So I think skincare is like kind of not really so much in that category. I do so many skincare videos, so that's another reason why I'm not gonna really touch on that because I literally dedicate so many videos to skincare. If you wanna see an updated skincare routine, do let me know in the comments, but I have so many out there and that would just also take so long because I use a lot of skincare products. So all the products that I mentioned, I will link in my description. It's gonna be a lot, so if I miss anything, let me know in the comments, but the majority of of my products I get from stores like you know drug stores like Target, CVS, Walmart and then like other beauty chains like Sephora, Ulta those are like the main places you can find these things so I'm looking forward to talking about all of my favorite products hope you are too so let's get into it so I'll do this in the order of like my whole entire routine so we'll start with my in shower products I'm gonna share all of my hair care products that I use in the shower and then also my hair care products that I use like leave-in products after I get out of the shower. One of my all-time favorite brands, if not my favorite brand of hair care products is Briogeo. I have a few products from them that I use every single day and part of my hygiene routine. So I use the designed for density shampoo and conditioner. This has caffeine and biotin. It's a peptide density shampoo. I love this stuff because it just makes my hair feel very smooth. It helps to detangle my hair and it doesn't contain any harsh sulfates or any silicones or any chemicals like that. So I know it's also good for my hair. I just feel like ever since I started using this shampoo, my hair has felt a lot healthier. Along with the exfoliating shampoo, this is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating shampoo. I always have to have some type of exfoliating shampoo in my routine. I don't use this every time I wash my hair, probably like once a week, maybe once every other week. And it's just good at like really getting into your scalp to exfoliate it, all the dead skin cells that you have on your scalp. You definitely need to exfoliate your scalp at least once a month or twice a month. And then also you need some type of leave-in mask for your hair, especially if you have like dry damaged hair like myself. And I've used so many, but currently I'm loving the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This stuff is so good. My hair feels so smooth and moisturized after using it. It's also part of Allure's top products list. And again, this doesn't contain any harsh sulfates, parabens, and silicones. So that's another reason why I love that deep conditioning mask. The last in shower hair product I wanted to mention is something I started using recently and I'm obsessed with it. It's from Amika. It's the Flash Instant Shine Mask. This stuff is so amazing at making your hair really shiny and silky and smooth. I really just want to get back to like my shiny and sleeky looking hair. So this I feel like really, really helps. Oh my God, it just makes your hair feel so good in the shower. It helps to detangle it. And when you get out of the shower, your hair feels really smooth. For my essential leave-in hair products, I have quite a few. And the first one is also from Briogeo. Guys, I told you this is like probably my top favorite hair care brand. This is the Farewell Frizz Leave-In Conditioning Spray. A leave-in conditioning spray is so, so essential for me because it just helps to add moisture and it helps to defrizz your hair and this does just that. I think out of all of the leave-in conditioners that I've used, I like this one the most. I think my second favorite would be the Way leave-in conditioner, which I've also been using for a while, but this is the current one I'm using and I love it. I always need some type of detangling spray and I love this one from Odell because it's also a heat protectant. This is the leave-in detangling tonic. It hydrates, untangles your hair, and also helps to protect from heat and pollutants. So it's kind of like an all-in-one spray to protect your hair and also help detangle it. So I have been loving this one. And then I also use this balm from IGK. It's the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. I use this just to add a little bit more hydration and it's kind of like a serum like type of gel. It has coconut oil 
and it's just a nice leave-in product that really adds moisture and hydration to my hair. The hair oil is so essential and I am literally down to the bone with the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. I love this stuff. I need to repurchase another bottle, but it's one of my favorite hair oils. And then for styling my hair, right before I blow dry my hair, I love to use the Nature Lab Perfect Smooth Blowout Lotion. This is the perfect leave-in product to put in your hair right before you style it or blow dry it because it really gives you that like Brazilian blowout effect. It really like just makes your hair extra, extra smooth and shiny. Okay, so that's all for my hair care product favorites. I'm gonna move on to body care now. And again, this is gonna be a really big category. So I'll start with my body wash. That's the first thing I use for my body in the shower. And I, again, I'm almost finished with this one. This is the Ren Skincare Atlantic Kelp and Magnesium anti-fatigue body wash. I love this stuff, first of all. It smells absolutely amazing, and it provides so many benefits for your skin. It's made with an Atlantic kelp extract to help energize your skin, and it's also made with magnesium, PCA. It's like all this science stuff that's like hard to explain, but basically it's just made with like anti-fatigue essential oils and all these like nice like vitamins for your body to help revive your skin, to help bring it back from looking dull. It makes your skin bright and smooth and hydrated, so it's not like your ordinary body wash like it has a lot of benefits as well which is why I really like it a couple of exfoliators that I really love you're gonna hear me talk about Sol de Janeiro in this video a lot that's probably one of my favorite body care brands at the moment so apologies in advance if that's all you hear me saying but the bum bum body scrub everything from like the bum bum line is like my favorite but I love the body scrub it smells really good mm, it smells like summer that's why I really am liking this brand right now because all their products remind me of summer and it's summer so I want to smell like summer but it also just makes my skin feel very smooth and I know it's getting the job done and helping me get rid of dead body cells did I just say dead body cells no 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 dead skin cells yes oh my god dead body cells that probably would not be good and then I also love the Kopari body bumps be gone exfoliator I use this specifically on my arms because I've had these um bumps keratin wait what is it called keratosis not keratin I'm getting all my words mixed up today I've had keratosis on my arms like my entire life since I was a little little baby girl these kind of like whitish reddish bumps that are completely harmless but they're just so annoying to look at so yeah I've tried all products to try to get rid of it and this is the first thing I have used in my life that really helps minimize these bumps this is specifically made for body bumps so if you have keratosis or any type of like body bumps on your legs and your arms. I also have them on my thighs a little bit. So I just kind of like focus it on those areas. I don't put this all over my body. I focus this on like the target areas of my arms and my thighs. And I've been using this for a few months. I've noticed a difference, kind of a small difference. Like they're not completely gone, but they have been minimized a bit. So I'm obsessed with this thing. This is gonna be like my holy grail for the rest of my life. Okay, and then moving on to some body oils. I have one in a shower body oil product and then one post shower so this in shower one is from soap and glory this is the perfect zen foaming bath and shower oil so you put this on after you're done cleansing and exfoliating your body kind of as like a last step and you lather it into your skin it turns really foamy and then you rinse it off and it leaves your skin feeling instantly smooth right in the shower right before you hop out so I love to use this stuff because it adds that extra layer of hydration okay so moving on to like my post shower body care favorites this is the oil I'm loving again from Sol de Janeiro and this is the bum bum body firming oil this is supposedly supposed to help firm your skin and I love using this with my little tool this little body like I don't know what you would call this but I like to use this to give myself a little lymphatic drainage I use this like on my arms and it kind of like is like the body gua sha if you're familiar with the gua sha it helps to kind of drain your lymphatic system in your face but this is more for your body I've always always wanted to get a lymphatic drainage massage I'm still looking for a good place around the DMV if you know of any good lymphatic drainage places to go to in the area let me know in the comments but yeah I use this on my legs my thighs my arms my stomach just to like kind of drain my lymphatic system and I use it with the body oil because it makes uh, it easier to glide the tool across my skin oh I did forget to mention my favorite in shower tools to use for my body are these two things right here this is just a dry scrubbing brush you can get these anywhere I think I got this from Nasser but I like to dry brush my skin sometimes it helps again like promote 
lymphatic drainage it helps to kind of move your like blood around or like all that stuff like stimulate your blood you know what i mean to like get it pumping and to like make your skin really like soft and smooth and refresh i also use this sometimes to exfoliate my skin and then this product right here is the pmd body you know what i'm not actually sure what the name exact name of it is but i love this for like cleansing my body it vibrates and it has different settings so it helps to really like give your body like a full massage and this is what i use when I like do my little body wash, it really helps like stimulate your skin. And it comes with these um, little like replacements. This one is like a uh, sanding one to help exfoliate your skin. And this one is kind of like a little massage tool. So you can swap them out. I really don't use this one that often. Um, I use this one sometimes to like when I'm exfoliating my feet in the shower uh, or my body. But I mainly use this to like wash my body off but I love this tool it's so 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 amazing okay so I have a lot of favorite moisturizers but I'm gonna just mention two of them here we go Sol de Janeiro the Brazilian bum bum cream I love how it smells I love how it applies it's so easy to blend into my skin and it just like makes me feel like summer it smells so good you guys and this is also I think supposed to be firming so it's supposed to help like firm your skin oh my god this smell is so nostalgic because I started using this the summer when I moved out of my parents house so like you know how a smell brings you back to a time and place and like certain memories so I remember the summer I moved out of my parents house uh, I was like so excited to finally be on my own and finally have my own place and this is like what I would use every single day and then I stopped using it for a few years until like a, maybe a few months ago so every time I smell this that's all I think of and it makes me happy and then I'm also loving the Josie Marin whipped argan oil body butter I love body butters I don't really use lotions for my body because my skin is naturally very dry and I need something a lot thicker and moisturizing for my skin so I'm always using body butters and I love this one because because the Josie Marin Argan Oil is super famous. Um, I used to use that stuff all the time for my face. So this body butter is infused with that stuff. So not only is it moisturizing, like you feel, you can feel the oil, the Argan Oil in your skin. And this keeps me so moisturized and hydrated for the whole day. I feel like sometimes with some lotions, like you put it on and then you start to see after a few hours it wearing off and your skin gets dry again. That's just how extremely dry my skin is. But with this stuff, my skin stays dry all day long. Nasera is another favorite of mine and I have their lotion and exfoliator and all that. I don't really use them that much anymore, but I still use the body serum religiously just because it adds extra hydration to whatever lotion I'm using. This has hyaluronic acid and I always add like a couple pumps of this to whatever body butter I'm using and like I said it just adds extra hydration I'm also really getting into spray lotions I don't know if this is new this is new to me this season but um, I have a few different ones and I've tried a few new ones recently but I'm really loving this one from L'Occitane it's the let's see the delightful mist with almond it's just basically a hydrating like perfume hydrating like lotion so it smells amazing and also it acts as a lotion so when you like put it on your skin you rub it in it smells amazing mm. this one smells like kind of vanilla and almondy it's really light though it's not too strong not too fragrant but it smells amazing and yeah it just helps at hydrating your skin so um this is nice for me in the summer because my skin is a little bit more moisturized in the summer obviously but in the winter i probably won't be able to use this because you know I need my thicker body butters but that stuff is amazing I really recommend this I just started using it and I'm really really getting obsessed with spray-on lotions all right and then I gotta throw in my all-time favorite product if I could choose just one product from this entire video that I must have with me like if I had to go on a stranded island and I could only bring one of these products with me it would be this aquaphor I love aquaphor I always have this big tub in my bathroom and it's just the best. I use it everywhere for my body, for like my really dry areas, like my elbows, like my cracked feet sometimes, or my hands. My hands are very dry because I have eczema on my hands um, and sometimes even on my face. So this is like a really good multi-purpose product. It's so moisturizing. I mean, you guys know Aquaphor. I don't even need to talk about this, but it's literally the best. And I just have to throw that out there because I can't survive without Aquaphor. So I wanted to get into some foot care. I don't talk about foot care ever, but there's a few products I use to help maintain nice, smooth feet. So every month I do like a little foot exfoliator, meaning like I scrub 
the dead skin off of my feet I know it's gross to think about but we got to talk about foot care so I got this little like foot scrubber I don't know what you call this I always call this the cheese grater like where they you know put it under your heel to scrub all the dead skin off I literally love this thing it's so good at removing your dead skin on your feet then I also have this like scrubber again I forgot the official term of this but before I use either of these products I use this this is a callus remover it helps to dissolve your calluses and it is so good at working basically you soak your feet for like maybe five minutes until it's like wrinkly and then you dry your feet and then you put this on your foot it's a gel and you just spread it all over your feet and you let it rest for three to seven minutes and then after it rests, you rinse off your foot and then you go ahead and use either one of these tools. I like to use this mostly um, because I feel like it really is effective, more effective and like not to be gross, but there ends up being a lot of skin that comes off and it's just amazing. It really helps make my feet so smooth and buttery soft after doing this whole little treatment. I feel like they don't even like exfoliate my feet good at the like nail salon when I get a pedicure. So I started doing my own pedicures and it's way more efficient with all of these tools. And then I use the Soap and Glory foot cream. It's a hydrating foot cream. It has macadamia oil and fruit acid smoothers. And it's just really good at hydrating my feet. But then I also use Aquaphor because it's just so hydrating and it's for dry, cracked, irritated skin. I feel like out of all the lotions I use, this one is the best at like helping hydrate my feet and like getting rid of like cracked skin and all that. So these two are really good, but I think I would have to choose aquaphor over everything okay so i'm gonna get into my favorite shaving products my favorite shaving cream is by far from flamingo i love it because it has aloe vera for conditioning and comfort so it helps to hydrate my skin while i'm shaving also a little product goes a very long way just a little tiny like not even a dime size like less than a dime size and that's all I need for like shaving my legs or under my arms. And then my favorite razor is the Billy Razor. It's very soft and smooth and gentle on my skin. This is called Tend Skin Solution. This is for ingrown hairs, razor bumps. This helps to eliminate that. So in the case that razor bumps show up like on my legs or my bikini area, I'll take like a little cotton pad. I'll put a little bit of this and like dab it in the affected areas and it will sting a little bit but it really is effective like within a few hours my razor bumps will go down so I do wax my face sometimes I wax my like unibrow if it's growing out like if I need to touch up my eyebrows a little bit like underneath my eyebrows sometimes my upper lip I'll like wax off and I love the flamingo waxing kit because it's so gentle on the skin and you don't need to like pre warm up the wax it's ready to go it comes with a bunch of these little wax strips. This is the size of them. So yeah, it's very good for upper lip, for like your little unibrow or like underneath your eye. Again, I just use this for cleaning up. I do get my eyebrows done. Um, but yeah, it comes with the little waxing strips and then it comes with these uh, post waxing cloths, which are like little wet wipes that you can use over the affected areas. And then it also comes with a cooling gel, calming serum, it has aloe vera. So I love this because it's the easiest way to remove any facial hair and my skin doesn't get irritated. It's great for sensitive skin. It's no mess, no stress, just very easy to use. I have to mention my favorite facial cleansing products. These are the only skincare products I'll mention in the video. So I use this in shower when I am washing my body. This is what I use for my face. It's the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach cleanser i love this stuff it just you know helps remove makeup and dirt it smells really good and it's superfood cleanser i really love superfood products i'm also very into cleansing balms this is from youth to the people uh it's the super berry cleansing balm but i use like all sorts of brands i just wanted to mention a cleansing balm it's really hydrating for your skin if you don't know what a cleansing balm is it's basically like a kind of like jelly uh, material or substance and you rinse your fingers you put it on a dry face and then you kind of like rub it into your skin so it helps to remove dirt and makeup and all that stuff but it also helps to hydrate your skin at the same time and for my eye makeup when I'm wearing like waterproof mascara or eyeliner I love the Garnier 
micellar cleansing water it's an all-in-one and it cleanses waterproof makeup it also helps to soothe and smoothen your face I also use this on my lips whenever I'm wearing like lipstick or anything it just is really good at removing all that hard to get off makeup and then the last product I'm gonna use I feel like might be a little bit controversial because I don't think Clearasil is really a popular brand anymore but I've been using this stuff since I've been in middle school and I really contribute this to why I've never had an acne problem it's a rapid rescue deep treatment pad uh, it has sal 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 why can't I say this word basically it's a, an acne medication so anytime I have like a pimple or a breakout pop-up I use this on my face and it instantly gets rid of the pimple it like helps dissolve it it's basically like medication I don't use this all the time but like I said only when I am noticing a breakout or like a zit somewhere on my face this literally helps it go away gonna also mention my favorite intimate products I use this cleanser from love wellness the pH balancing cleanser this is for your intimate areas I use this in the shower it's fragrance free and it's non irritating it's like just good for your skin and it just helps clean it because you can't you know use regular soap it's gonna irritate it. so um, yeah I use this stuff and I love it and then this is something I've recently started using from daily Luna this is the everywhere spray to wipe it's a spray and you can put it on your toilet paper and use it for your intimate areas it's good at cleansing and refreshing I really have been loving this stuff and then lastly this is another go-to since I was like in middle school it's the summer's Eve freshening spray it's a five-in-one helps to neutralize odor it won't disrupt your natural pH it absorbs moisture talk free and all that stuff so if I just need a little quick refresh I'll spray this and you're good to go can't forget deodorants these are my two current ones that I'm using this one from native and it's good for sensitive skin it, I think it's also natural I tried to find some clean natural deodorants so I love this one and then also the Nasser deodorant gel. This one is in eucalyptus. It helps to deodorize, protect, comfort your skin, and both are clean. Moving on to my dental and mouth hygiene favorites. I have two types of toothbrushes that I love. This is my everyday toothbrush. This is the Philips Sonicare electric toothbrush. I like it, you know, it's a good electric toothbrush. There's nothing special about it, it's just an electric toothbrush, but I like it, I've had it for like about a year now. But I do prefer to use old fashioned toothbrushes just because I feel like it gives me more control to brush. I'm kind of an aggressive toothbrusher, like I'll just like scrub my teeth. <laughs> so um, I like how the bristles of like a, an old fashioned toothbrush is a little bit bigger than an electric toothbrush, like this part is not as big as like in a, a traditional toothbrush so that's kind of why I prefer this but I love these ones from Oral-B this is the charcoal infused toothbrush so it helps to whiten your teeth so I love that and then for my toothpaste mouthwash all that stuff I'm a really big fan of the Luminex line and I like this brand because it doesn't disrupt your microbiome meaning it doesn't like kill off the bacteria in your gut a lot of toothpaste brands like Crest for example they kill off like all the bacteria in your mouth but you need that bacteria because it's good for your gut so this brand is like not only good at cleaning your teeth but it also is good for like overall like gut and immune health so um yeah this is the mouthwash and the whitening strips i just ran out of the toothpaste so that's why i'm using the crest 3d white toothpaste i still like this toothpaste but i would prefer to use something that doesn't kill all the bacteria in my mouth so, you know, my gut is healthy, but yeah, I love this stuff. This really helps at whitening teeth, and I also like the taste of it. It doesn't taste like super minty. Sometimes I feel like toothpaste and mouthwashes are like so, what do you call it? Like, like they sting your mouth sometimes, but this doesn't. It does not sting your mouth. It's very gentle on your mouth, and it makes my mouth feel very fresh. And of course, floss. I know this is a given, very basic, but I use these little floss toothpicks from Target. I have to floss every single day. I have these gaps between my teeth up here. And every time I eat, every time I eat, food gets lodged up in there. So I need to like literally after every time I eat, floss my teeth. All right, guys, I think I'm down to the last category. And that is fragrances and body sprays. This was a really hard category for me to pick my favorites because I have so many fragrance favorites. But we're going to just talk about my body spray favorites. You guys, sorry again, Sol de Janeiro. They have the best body sprays. All their scents smell so good and again, just makes me feel like summer. They also do have some non-summery scents. They have one scent, the pink jasmine one, which I don't have right now in my hand, but the pink jasmine one reminds me of Fresh and Clean from Victoria's Secret. So again, like I mentioned with the nostalgic smells, it reminds me of when I was in high school 
so I love that scent but these two the pistachio and salted caramel this is a really sweet kind of sunny scented uh, fragrance and then this is the Rio radiance this one is fairly new I think a few months ago they released it this seriously smells like the beach I'm gonna spray this right now because I love it mm. Mm. like a fresh and clean beach okay and then these have been my go-to perfumes for the last like month or so miss Dior blooming bouquet is such a beautiful spring scent it straight up smells like flowers and florals so if that's your thing you'll love this that's my favorite type of scent I love florals so uh, I love this it's really nice and light like I would use this more for like the daytime um, so my daytime perfume like when I go run errands or just go out anywhere during the day this has been my go-to and then for a kind of like nighttime going out fragrance I love the Prada uh, which one is this the Prada what is the name of this one it's just like from Prada I don't know the exact name of it but this is a little bit more kind of darker sexier but it still is kind of light and florally so that's why I love it for nighttime and that's why I love it for summertime because it's like florally I've also been reaching for the Burberry her recently I've had this for like maybe a year or two and it's always been a favorite of mine but I kind of stopped using it and then started using it again more recently I love the scent it's very sweet very um, nice and summery and this fragrance is a new one that I just got from Laura Mercier I also like this for the daytime because it's nice and light and it's a really just pretty kind of natural smelling scent um, the one thing about this is that it doesn't really last like a long time but sometimes I like fragrances that don't last all day because I don't want to smell all day like I know that's weird to say but sometimes I kind of want it to fade off a little bit like I don't like strong fragrances I have a very sensitive like sense of smell because I have asthma and like my lungs sometimes get like if I wear too much perfume or if I wear perfume that's too strong or if I wear perfume that lasts too long if that makes any sense at all so I've been loving this it kind of smells like a fresh clean like shower like just getting right out of the bath so okay guys there you go those are my favorite hygiene products I'm gonna do my best to link them all in the description so definitely go check it out thank you everyone so much for watching if you made it this far I thank you don't forget to thumbs up this video and to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all in my next video